Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm FPL Roo, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at my game week 19 team so far. So the game week hasn't finished. Um, there's still one more game, Chelsea versus Fulham. Um, but we do, we've only got one more player left to play. So we're just going to look at how I got on and um, how well my my transfer did. Um, if you watched my last video on uh, team selection, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, maybe go check that one out first and then come back to this one. Um, and if you're if you're new around here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel um, and yeah, give this video a like as well. So we'll start off in goal um, with yeah with my joint best performer of the game week. It has we have got Edison. Um, so I went for Edison on my unlimited transfers instead of Cancelo because um, I was just worried about. Cancelo's minutes, um, especially with Walker being back. Um, Rico Lewis as well looked pretty good before before the World Cup. And um, yeah, I was right. Until now, I haven't really capitalised on that as City haven't kept a clean sheet. But um, this week, yeah, we, we did pretty well. So we did get a clean sheet with Edison and two bonus and ended up on eight points. And Cancelo ended up getting taken off after 45 minutes. Um and if it wasn't for for Edison points, my rank could have been, or well, my game week would have been horrible, um, and my rank could have been horrible. Um, that that eight points from Edison basically gained me a hundred thousand um, places in the overall rank. So yeah, really really happy with that, and especially as a uh, Chelsea conceded as well, as I know a lot of people have Kepa. So that was that was really good, and Haaland didn't score. Um, as well but we'll go on to that further down the team so the defense yeah defense and goalkeeper probably best part of my team trippy again um eight points so did get the clean sheet and two bonus um again a tough game against arsenal away as well and also in that game i did have ben white who got one bonus so yeah really happy with that um ended up being um a nil nil so two clean sheets for my defence. Trippier just is just unbelievable, really. Um, I'm just so happy I got him in early, so I did get them extra few points. Um, I got I got him in from about game week game week nine, I think it is. Um, and yeah, the, Newcastle have been been unbelievable. Let's just look at Trippier's last few few um, scores. So it's eight eight against Leicester at home, twelve against. Um, sorry. Tw Eight against Leeds, twelve against Leicester, uh, seven against Chelsea, twelve against Southampton, eleven against Villa, and then he blanked against Spurs. And then before that, yeah, just unbelievable stuff. It's just the only the only other blank before that was game week five. So really looking at it, he's blanked in game weeks four, five, and they're thirteen. That's it. Incre like it's incredible. Um, hundred and twenty four points overall. Um yeah. Who knows what his price will be next year? Probably be in the six point five million range. Even now, he's only six million. Um, yeah, bargain, Mister Reliable. So I did decide against going for double Newcastle defence though. So I do have Botman on my bench. Um, he got the clean sheet. As I just wasn't sure. I didn't want to. Wasn't sure Newcastle were going to keep a clean sheet. I went for Trippier because he has got that attacking returns as well. He could get, um, but I didn't want to double up. So I did go for Bueno against Villa away. And they were keeping a clean sheet right up until the minute before he was substituted. So obviously substitutions can change when, when goals go in, but um, he was basically a minute away from, from getting that clean sheet and then getting off. So yeah, pretty unlucky with that one. And then... The rest of the team is pretty dire, so we'll start off. We'll go next to the midfield. So Salah Blank 2.0. Um, Brentford did really, really well um, against against Liverpool, so they beat them 3-1. Um, I know a lot of Nunes owners are frustrated. And yeah, the same with Salah, to be honest. Um, I guess it's a little less frustrating as Salah did get that that brace in the first game back after the World Cup. Um, and a lot of lot of Nunes owners are really, really frustrated where Salah owners, I'm not too sure they're to that level yet, where I think they probably should be 
because although he did get that brace, he's way, way more expensive um, over Nunes. And it could be a good option to to transfer in a son who might have a double game week or De Bruyne who might have a double game week in the next game week. In terms of Brentford, they have some really, really great fixtures coming up. So Bournemouth at home, Leeds away, Southampton at home. Um, so they could be could be an option if you're looking to bring in uh, maybe Bueno or, or or Vissa if Tony is suspended and or he does get his ban for um, the allegations. Plus, he's still injured, so we don't know when he's back either. So next up, Martinelli. As I said, that game was 0-0, so they did get that clean sheet point. Um, yeah, to be honest, I'd rather probably rather the clean sheets than a Martinelli goal. Although I know a lot of people do have White and Trippier. Um, yeah, not really much to say in nil nil. At least he got a clean sheet point for for being a midfielder. Um, next up, Andreas. So Andreas would have been my captain if I didn't do my transfer this week. So I'm kind of happy as. My captain did perform better than Andreas, as I'll talk about a bit further down um, the team. A uh, bit disappointed he did come off. He did come off after 58 minutes. So he ended up getting one point. Um, he would have, Basically, if he stayed on for an extra two minutes, he would have got um, three points instead of one, as he would have got a clean sheet point two. Um, he obviously still has Chelsea at home and... Um, yeah, hoping he can do something in that game. I know a few people have have Captain Andreas, so yeah, disappointing for them. Um, next up, so it should have been Trossard, but Trossard didn't play. Um, just a little bit about Trossard. So I brought him in for the unlimited transfers. Um, two point now against Southampton away, and then um, Arsenal at home. He came off in the 59th minute and then completely missed out in the game. Um, against against Everton away and Brighton have scored a lot of goals they've scored <laughs> they've scored uh, yeah they've scored nine goals in the last three games and Trossard hasn't been involved in all of them and missed out completely in the last game so yeah terrible transfer and um, was kind of planning for that double game week that was meant to happen for Brighton which hasn't been announced so yeah, very annoying. But yeah, Almiron did come in. So I did have Almiron on first on my bench, who did get get that one clean sheet point. And, but he did get a yellow card, so ended up with him two points. Kind of gutted I didn't have Botman first on my bench. Um, but I kind of always go for the attacker or the more likely to score player. So that's fine. I lose four points. It's not, it's not the worst thing that's, that's happened to me this game week. Um, we'll start off from, from right to left. So Marshall... Um, yeah, disappointed, especially as Man United have been scoring goals and um, Marshall was definitely the wrong pick. Rashford was the pick. Um, and I think if anyone can, Rashford, Rashford should have been a player you're looking to bring in from United if you're looking for a, for a forward midfielder. Uh, Marshall has been, yeah, like I said, very, very disappointed. Blanks in the last two, got a goal against Forrest at home. But yeah, not not good enough. Um, and I would have actually had Rashford if that that news we got around Mitrovic after the World Cup. Um, I would have had Mitrovic in that position and then Rashford for Trossard. I just wanted that. Um, I didn't want to double up on Man United, which I should because Trossard has been awful. But yeah, it's just the little little decisions like that that affect that kind of affect your your whole game. So it's a little bit annoying. I'm going to try and reverse that in the next couple of weeks, but we'll talk about that in later videos. Uh, next up, Haaland, blank two-pointers. So kind of happy. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people went with Haaland captain. Um, so yeah, any any goal would have been, would have been horrible for me. Um, yeah, I still think he's a great option, but yeah, just, just a really good week to blank. Um, he might have a double if City and Spurs win their FA Cup games, but it will be quite tough. It'll be United away, who look good at the moment, and Spurs at home. It just all depends which Spurs want, want to turn up. But yeah, City, City didn't look amazing against Chelsea, but they did look much better the second half. And Haaland was close on one occasion to 
to knocking in a cross. So yeah, it's Highland's Highland. And finally, we have my my transfer in um, for last week. So I did do um, Harry Kane, who got a 16-pointer, two goals and an assist against Palace away and free bonus. Um, I did take him out for Mitrovic, who did get a goal. Um, the only player on my team to get a goal. So I guess I can't complain. But yeah, he got that yellow, so suspended for the second game of the double game week just like it's not the worst situation with Mitchell Rich as I say I would have heart Captain Harland but yeah taking out Kane was just was just horrific I want I should have done it I should have done Mitchell Rich in for Martial um, but I was just really worried about that Bournemouth at, at home game um, I thought Man United, yeah, would would do do well, and I thought Martial could get amongst that. But again, it all comes back back to that team news um, that Mitrovic might be injured just just after the World Cup. So I went for Martial instead of Mitrovic. Then I went for Trossard instead of Rashford because I didn't want to double up on Man United. So it's kind of it's still all stemming from from that that team news. As if I did, like I said, if I did go for Mitrovic and Martial and Mitrovic and Rashford I would have had both of them and I wouldn't have needed to take out Kane and I would have and then I wouldn't have been worried to take out Martial because I would have already had Rashford so it wouldn't like it wouldn't have worked out um so yeah just that slight decision has kind of messed up my yeah my basically post World Cup game week um in terms of the bench yeah Ward two points um and then uh, Trossard didn't play, and then Patterson, zero points conceded for, and is looking now to be injured for a good, a good month or so. So um, that leaves me with very, very limited bench options, which is kind of my own fault because I did try to go cheap on the bench. Um, so I guess it's just one of them things. But hopefully, I'll I'll never have to need Patterson. In terms of of rank, so last week I was five hundred and and 28,000 around that and I've dropped to 629 so it could have been worse I've dropped 100k but it definitely definitely could have been worse if it wasn't for for that Edison clean sheet and two bonus I'm hoping Andreas can pull something out of the bag because I don't have any Chelsea players either so that rank's surely going to get get worse and worse so hopefully Andreas does the business and and gets a goal knocks out that Chelsea clean sheet and um, yeah, helps me keep a respectable, respectable rank. It's not the lowest of the season, so I was seven hundred thousand at one point. So it's not the end of the world, but I'm just floating between kind of four hundred k and seven hundred k. Um, I'm hoping that my transfers for the next week can can change that, as I have got a lot of money in the bank. So uh, my moves are either looking like Trossard to De Bruyne or or Marshall to to Kane. Um so yeah, it depends depends what happens in the FA Cup. So if they both win, they're both gonna have a double game week. But um I think it might be might be get Kane back in and and kind of cut your losses. But yeah, we'll we'll do a, a video later on, uh maybe maybe earlier next week and talk about that. Um but yeah, that was it for for this week let me know your game week scores so far in the comments below and um let me know your thoughts did did this game week benefit you have you got a green arrow um but yeah let me know your your score below and if you're if you're new around here and or if you're if you're someone that just watches and hasn't subscribed please make sure you do subscribe it's free it takes a second and um it'll really help out the channel cheers